Fire. Fire! There's a fire! Ah. 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 What a crazy dream that was. Everything's still okay, right? Nothing's wrong? No. Okay. Must have just been a dream. All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, this is episode three of Platypus Plays Hexit. Uh, you can see I've made a few expansions uh, on the house here. Mainly I've gotten started with some Ars Magica stuff. I found just a few spells, not very much yet, so not to worry, you haven't missed much. I've collected a few chocobos who seem to like want, who seem to like killing themselves. Um, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, well, at least the hoy is still there. Who needs chocobos ringing around when you've got a nice, sexy boat? Um, okay, so uh, I've spent the time between last episode and this crafting a few tools. Let me just grab my armor here. I don't like sleeping in armor. That's just that's uncomfortable. So I've done a little bit of mining. I got a few resources. I have collected a bunch of different metals and enough diamonds to create a full set of armor. Uh, I've found a few spells, um, including levitation, which is one that I'm really looking forward to. But in order to get levitation, I need something else first. I need whatever this spell is before I can get levitation. But levitation, the next level up of level levitation is flight. So that basically gives you a limited amount of time of creative mode flight using magic, which is really great. That's a spell that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so let's see what spells I've crafted here so far. Uh, Dig, Firebolt, uh, Summon Rift, and Charm. Charm I haven't tried yet. <laughs> For the last time, hearts are not gay. That's right. Hearts are perfectly normal. Um, so, that's that. I've also been down to the nether. I collected some obsidian create another portal and found just a few pieces of the nether ores, use those to craft up a rapier and a pickaxe. And on these tools I have, um, well not very much I guess so far, I'm waiting especially for the rapier for some blaze powder so that I can add the fire enchant and I'm not sure exactly else what, I'm, what else I'm going to add to it yet. But uh, So this is made, the blade is made of manilium. The crossbar is paper for the extra modifier, so I had four modifiers. And the handle, I actually can't... Oh, the handle I made of cactus, so that gave it the jagged enchant. And with the jagged, it means that the less durability it has, so if I you know, get into really serious fights, then the weapon will do more damage. So, I'm looking forward to playing with that. I also have this pickaxe. Um, the pickaxe is also made of manilium and some other stuff. You can see I've got a fair bit of lapis on there, full redstone, as well as the auto repair. And I'm still kind of thinking of what else I might want to add to that. I'm not sure if I'm going to add an emerald to it for extra durability or what exactly. I'm not sure if you can add a second layer of lapis to it, like if you could go up to say 900 lapis for more fortune because that's really the most important enchant on a pickaxe so we'll see how that goes uh, but I kind of got bored with that so I'm recording again <laughs> and these chocobos just do not want to stay put I don't know why but they keep defaulting into their wander mode which like that other one they just saw just means that they end up killing themselves. So I actually had three, and it looks like I'm down to one now. Anyways, for today's episode, uh, I thought we could do a little bit more adventuring. Uh, I did find a pirate ship and what looks to be a castle over this way. This isn't too far, and we can take the boat to it. So uh, I wish that this boat had cannons. That'd be really cool. <laughs> but I think that is coming in the next update, somebody told me. Uh, but unfortunately, the next update is probably going to be for 1.6, and, and I'm not sure how long Hexit is going to take to upgrade to 1.6. Uh, 
uh, in case you're wondering, this big cube here, this is a maze made entirely out of the hexit, uh, or added by hexit, so it means you can't break any blocks there, which is really annoying, and I don't think anybody would want to see me struggle for an hour <laughs> going through that maze, so I haven't done it yet, uh, and I probably won't do it on camera. Oh, that's where I put the nether portal as well. You can see it down there. So that's something I'll do off camera, that maze, I mean, that's because that's not going to be fun for anybody to watch, and it's going to be very frustrating for me. Um, well, that the, that battle tower is going to make doing this, uh, conquering this pirate ship a little bit more interesting. That's for sure. And I want to s oh, oh man, is it? Hey, Squid, what are you doing? Get off my boat. This is really cool, this is floating castle. I think I have a new goal in life. My new goal in life is to live in this floating castle. I, I don't think I want anything else. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to start by taking over this small ship here as practice. <laughs> Hone my combat skills. Oh, uh, did I did my hoy drop? Oh, and I'm poisoned too. That's not great. I hope I can get my boat before I die. Oof. Oof. Okay. Now I don't have any solids or an axe to get in here. <laughs> so that wasn't smart. Uh, but I have dig. I can dig my way in. Ha <laughs> ha Magic is great. Uh, someone's drowning. Hi. This rapier just cuts through people's armor. It's a great weapon for taking on these things. Uh huh. Okay. Ah. Oh boy, that was far harder than it had to be. Okay, let's see who's below deck. Nobody. Is there a music disc in here? Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh, oh, none of that's really very useful. Oh, three emeralds. That's not bad. That's a pretty. That's pretty sweet, actually. Okay, that trip was well worth it. Okay, now I'm just gonna hop in one of these crappy boats. To get over, <laughs> you can probably hear my cat in the background. He's trying to climb on the back of my seat. He's like, "What you talking to? Who you talking to? You must be talking to me, because I'm the center of the universe." Whoop! Man, I almost flew right by the castle, giving my cat pets. Okay, I'll be back once I've ascended this very slow waterfall. Whoa! There's some gold in there. Uh, is nobody gonna come and try and stop me? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a golden throne. A giant golden throne. That... That can't be good. That... That is not good at all. So there's... Ow! Skeletons! I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy these guys, because... I really don't need spawners in my new home. That's not necessary. I really wonder what kind of big crazy boss is going to be in here. I'm a little scared actually. Just judging from the size of that throne. Um, I think I might keep the zombie spawner, because zombies are a little bit easier to take care of than skeletons. Uh, so what are you doing here? Oh! Oh! 
That was a very dirty trap. <laughs> How's that? Oh, oh, oh boy. That was cool too. That was really cool with the mob dismemberment. He just fell to pieces. Alright. Good trap, sir. You've won this round. Ah. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, I had a couple of unfortunate events trying to get up here. A uh, creeper blew up on me. I had skeletons shooting at me, so I couldn't get up. So, uh, yeah. I've changed my mind. I don't think I want to live here anymore. This place has caused me so much frustration over the past couple minutes <laughs> that I just want it to die. Whoever lives in this giant throne is going to feel my wrath. So this was the uh, <laughs> same trap I fell for last time. Yeah, see? That's a good one. That's a very good trap. I like it. Okay, let's go upstairs. Presumably whoever sits in that giant throne there is going to live up here, I'm guessing. This seems to be some sort of uh, Jack and the Beanstalk reference, perhaps. Although I don't know why they didn't use, you know, beanstalks for this, but... Okay, there's some ladders there. Um, was this a trap? Joke's on you. I've got dig. Or maybe the joke's on me. I can't cast it. Oh, no, I'm out. Thank God. Ah, oh, so many traps. Not even any bosses to show for it. So, I'm kind of disappointed. There was nobody who was supposed to sit in that giant chair. Is that just for me to dig out? Is that my... Or is this going to be another trap? <laughs> Far more likely the latter, but... Um, Let's put some more torches up. It seems people can still spawn here. Or maybe it's just regular monsters spawning because it's nighttime out. I'm not quite sure. Man, I love this rape here. It just tears through people. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, oh! I see. This is this is bad. <laughs> okay, so that's what happens when you try to mine out the throne. Ah, uh, fighting skeletons in water—that's always fun. But I've got another boat. If I can just get going fast enough. Okay, you know what? This castle has pissed me off so much, I want to set fire to it, but I don't think that this spell sets fire to things. I do not want to live up there. This place is a death trap. I'm going to build my own town. My own. Maybe I'll build a floating, ca floating town. No, that's way too much work. That'll be way too hard to do. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's go raid this thing as quickly as we can.
Oh, with one heart left. Fantastic. What did he drop? He dropped a ninja dagger. Oh, yes. This thing is cool. I think this makes you invisible. Let's see. <laughs> invisible, except still wearing armor. <laughs> uh, so, invisibility. Cool. Well, I'm gonna have to create a pedestal or something for that. Because that is definitely cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut here and uh, take all the loot back to my base. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to make too many trips. And I will see you again once we're there. Alright, and we're back. Um, it occurs to me that I've never actually shown the third person view what it looks like in the boat. Uh, so this is it. That's pretty cool, I think. Um, you can kind of see there is a cabin in there, and I think the future plans for this mod are to make it so you can go inside the cabin and sleep in there and, you know, have your chests in there and stuff. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, this is what you look like from the back. So, you know, that's pretty neat, I think. Kind of switch sides as the... Uh, the sail switches over. Anyways, so I'm here back at the Tale of Kingship uh, guild, and I've killed 14 skeletons, and my path to kingship is complete. So I'm looking forward to turning that in, and uh, see what kind of rewards we can get for that. See, uh, sorry about your roof again, buddy. It. Uh, was very helpful though. Man, third, 3,600 for a gold or for a diamond hoe, that's just ridiculous. Do you have a name? Shopkeeper1? One. Shopkeeper1 one Steven? I'm gonna call you Steven. Your prices are ridiculous. Do you know how many mobs I've killed and I still can't afford even a diamond hoe? That's insane. I'm never doing business with you again. You're gonna go out of business soon if you keep up this price gouging. Okay. Uh, well, I'd rather not be turning into night right now, because I still have to get back to my home, but... Whatever. Uh, you are finally reaching the end of your path to kingship. You are now worthy to wield the kingdom scepter. But, as you receive your scepter, an unforeseen event has arrived. A grim reminder of the past. The Refusules have finally found a way into our world. It's time to save what we can. Brace yourselves. What? Oh god. The Refusules are coming? No. No! My dream. It's coming true. How did I know? <sighs> oh god. I knew it. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, don't fail me now, frame rate. Oh, that better not be you, Steven. Nope. Steven! No! He was the first one to die. Well, kind of deserved it. Okay. Basically, at this point, there's not much we can do for these people. Oh, especially with my horrible, horrible laggy frame rate. I wish I, oh I can I can't put you out, but <laughs> all I can do is say goodbye. Alright. But what that means is a new and exciting beginning, because what we have now is this. We can start our own kingdom. 
using the Kingdom Scepter, the Kingdom Block. We're going to have to deal with these resources here, food, wood, and stone. Keep our villagers happy, build up an army, make our army strong, and then it'll be time to take over the world. <laughs> Alright, until next time YouTube, take care.